League video tournaments like this one, the Big Daddy of them all, the Nintendo World Championships, on tour across the country. Here, video junkies can spend their weekend killing turtles, shooting fireballs, not to mention saving fairy princesses and more. It's serious fun, gang, and as a matter of fact, Mario and I are close personal friends. great time. It's, get together and just some of your friends and come around here and play all games. It's just a good way of spending my time. When you have nothing else to do, you can go off and play a game. It's just a challenge. <laughs> like one big game. It's a lot of fun. I was glad to know how well, as all you video junkies can attest, parents don't take too kindly to the fact that their little video heads can play till their eyes swell or their thumbs fall off. But hey, mom and dad, you never know. All this video madness might just pay off. This guy entered a local video tournament and scored big for his future. Playing video games finally paid off. Um, I don't have to worry about college anymore because I won this tournament, which was a $5,000 scholarship on it. How much did you spend? I don't know, Joe. How much do you think you spent? I don't know, but I'm sure glad I brought my visa. Because when you come to Daytona, you better bring your visa. Because Daytona women don't come cheap, and they don't take American Express. Speaking of money, watch this. Spring Break was all about sand, surf, fun, and sun. Wrong. It's really all about money. How much you can save and how much you can spend. Too much. Way too much. Actually, all, I, brought, I brought cash and then I also brought my visa in case I run out. So hopefully I won't use that. Probably just uh, $250, $300. We're going cheap. We weren't going at all and we decided to go cheap. I'd say about $15, $20 a day. So I'm not staying in a hotel. Uh, probably about $300. Hoping. <laughs> uh, about 400. Between 250 and 300. About oh, five, six hundred Everything that we brought. Yeah, mom said more money. <laughs> said that we're done already. Been here ten minutes. <laughs> Spending money at spring break is an easy thing to do, but what do you do if and when you run out? Of course, phone home. Because, Mom, just go to a Western Union and wire me some money. It's not a crisis. Sam. Sam, this is Jennifer with Youthquake. Sam Goody's on the phone. Sam. Hi, Hi listen, Sam, I just wanted to Hi. thank you for all the oh, great time doing. we've been having here at Spring Break. We really appreciate you guys sponsoring it, but look, Sam, Sam, I got a little problem, man. I like it so much down here, I need some more money. Can you send some more money? Oh, Sam, I really, really appreciate this. Hey, will you tell those guys at Musicland we appreciate it, too? Yeah, yeah, and look, could you maybe have them send out a couple of CDs for the crew? Cool, all right, well, thanks, guys. Sam, Sam Goody, Sam Goody and Musicland, making all this spring break fun possible. Breaking and quaking next on Youthquake. She claims she's his mother. Tommy, I love you so much. Her madness may claim his life. Tommy! Meredith Baxter Burney, The Kissing Place. Wednesday at 9, 8 central. From stage 29, in the heart of Hollywood, California, in these United States, it's our city of... Hey, you know that Sprite sweepstakes where we fill my audience with all the winners? 
I think it's a great idea. Now you can win a trip to see my show and party with me backstage. See details where Sprite is sold. I like the Sprite in you. Get your ski shined up, grab a stick of juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move ya. Take a sniff, pull it out. The taste is gonna move ya when you pop it in your mouth. Juicy fruit is gonna move ya. It juice the soft, it gets right to ya. Juicy fruit, the taste, the taste, the taste is gonna move ya. Look, there's one more thing. I'm thinking of hiring a college kid to replace Davis. You're kidding. Honor student? Yeah, but he's just out of school. He can't have any experience. I'm not too sure. He strikes me as a very determined guy. Yeah, but isn't a college kid a little young to handle that job? Maybe. Move out! But this guy's an Army lieutenant, Bob. ROTC has been training him for the last four years. All right. When can I meet him? Army Reserve Officers Training Corps. The smartest college course you can take. You never know what the day will bring. This is contract law. Next building. But the unexpected's a real sure thing. On demand, you're more sure. Blank. You see, Sure responds on demand to work harder when you need it more. No volunteers? So Sure helps keep you dry. You may never know when you need more Sure, but Sure knows when. The third part. Correct. Give you more. Raise your head on demand. You're more sure. 90 Daytona Beach, what a blast. It's a great time. And as we all know, some serious drinking goes on down here at Spring Break. Could Spring Break be Spring Break without the drinking? We talked to the kids to find out what they have to say. I was kind of surprised that they don't allow drinking on the beach, but I guess I can understand why. Drinking out in the public and is, I don't think, you know, it's a good idea. Spring break is known as a time to come down and, and meet girls or meet guys and uh, drink a lot and have a good time and lay out in the sun. That's the stereotype for spring break. Drinking is a major part of spring break. Any way you look at it, college students come here to drink. But what if there was no drinking at spring break? Could it be spring break without alcohol? Here's what the breakers have to say. I don't know. It just depends on if you like to drink a lot or not. I don't think so. No, it wouldn't. Uh, it would be really hard to, for a lot of people to come down and have a good time without drinking. I don't know. I, this is the first time I've been here, and that's all, I've, that's all I've ever heard is how much drinking goes on down here, so I suppose it would. I think it would be spring break, but I think Drinking is a real major part of spring break. Sure, I've had a good time. I'm... Sure, I don't drink all the time. I have a good time. You don't need to drink. Yeah, anything's possible. <laughs> There's a lot of drinking that goes on. I think that you could have as much fun without it if there was recreation to do. Yes, definitely, because I don't drink or smoke or anything, and I'm having a great time. You can have a great time without drinking. And if you don't believe it, just try it. And if you choose to drink, don't drive and drink. Do it responsibly because we want to see you next year at Spring Break 1991. Next week on Youthquake, Perestroika comes to Daytona Beach. Check out Russian rock band Gorky Park in concert for Youthquake at Spring Break 1990. Be sure and tune in and check it out. Youthquake crew is always lost and we'd like to find our way to your town. Drop us a card or a letter and let us know what's up at your school or in your town and we could just put you and your friends on Youthquake. Here's the address. A promotional consideration fee and awards have been provided by the following. For Nintendo, acclaims Double Dragon 2 The Revenge, two-player head-to-head action, nine incredible missions, and non-stop martial arts excitement from acclaim. Switch at AM FM Radio. Experience Boomball audio you can wear anywhere. Featuring a round clear shell, multicolored parts, mosaic designs, and a necklace antenna from Switch It Inc.
Delicious Sunny Delight Florida Citrus Punch. Great taste for the whole family morning, noon, and night. Nothing delights you like Sunny Delight. The Reps Candy Boys that everybody enjoys. They're cute and groovy. They're fruit and chewy, crunchy outside, juicy inside. So get the beat because Reps Candy is hip to eat. Gorky Park's debut album is available at all Musicland Sam Goody stores on Mercury Compact Disc Records and Tapes. Check out their new single, Try to Find Me. Youthquake has been brought to you by Musicland. Musicland, we got what's hot, and Sam Goody. Goody got it.